Hey guys, it's very important that you avoid making this mistake when entering income into the retirement budget calculator. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So the way the calculator works in this particular example is you'll see these people are retired at age 60. Their budget requires them to take $79,183 out of their liquid investable assets to supplement their income. What the calculator does is it, whenever there's a red number here, it assumes that the portfolio withdrawal is coming out and then your assets earn, in this case, 3% per year. And at the end of the year, you have $1,360,000. And you can even see if you click on a row, which account it's assumed that that income is coming out of. So in this case, it's a withdrawal coming out of the 401k. Very important to understand that retirement budget calculator is automatically calculating the withdrawals needed to supplement your income. Here's the mistake that people make. On the income tab, on the budget data, and then income, some people will put in portfolio withdrawals. And they'll say, well, I need about $7,000 a month. And then they come over to the future view. And you can see there's never a shortfall. The calculator thinks, oh, I've always got plenty of money and the money's always growing because now you're telling the calculator that you have this income source and so there is no need for portfolio withdrawals. And if you run this down to life expectancy, you can see they never run out of money in retirement under this type of scenario. But if you let the calculator do its work and you say there is only the only income they're going to have is Social Security in retirement and you let the calculator calculate what the portfolio withdrawals are, then you'll notice that we do get to a point where the portfolio gets depleted down to zero. So very, very, very important that you do not enter portfolio withdrawals as an income source. OK, thanks so much.